it's really disheartening. This is what things are coming to. The social unrest that hit downtown Minneapolis Wednesday night made its way to Pixie Liquors in Brooklyn Park. There was a boulder, probably about, about a good 50, 60 pounds, threw it in. Owner Donald Michaela says several people smashed the front door of his store shortly after midnight. Moved it enough and then they shoved us some type of bar in and got the rest of the lock open. Once they got inside, Michael says they grabbed several thousand dollars worth of merchandise. The most they got away with was Hennessy, some cigarettes, and some Ciroc. They also grabbed a bin of scratch-off lottery tickets. Most people don't know the second that it's taken unlawfully, they're basically obsolete. While this was all taking place, a Brooklyn Park police officer happened to be driving by and noticed the burglary in progress. The officer uh, identified that there was people in the business. Um, he attempted to stop them. They fled in the vehicle. There was four adults that fled. The vehicle headed west and the officer used a pursuit intervention technique about a mile and a half away to stop the car. Police then took four suspects into custody. We're very confident that it was related to what occurred downtown because some of the uh, evidence that we found in the vehicle was uh, identified as being looted from stores downtown Minneapolis. So it was just a continued course of criminal conduct. If you want change, do it the right way. Don't do it the stupid way. The incident left Michael wondering why they had to target his business. They're using whatever excuse to cause damage, to cause dismay to cause anarchy and they're not taking into effect what it does to people's lives. Michael says he's going to beef up security on the door and buy a taser for his employees. But ultimately, he's looking at the big picture. All it is is material. It can all be replaced. As long as nobody's hurt, that's, that's all I really care about. Meanwhile, Brooklyn Park Police say they plan to increase efforts to protect businesses over the next few days. We can't resort to criminal conduct even if we believe we're supporting a cause and and want to, to you know, exercise our First Amendment. Nobody supports that more than the police department. But when we convert to allowing criminals to break into businesses or burn property, that just is not allowed here in the city of Brooklyn Park. In Brooklyn Park, Delaine Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.